sign to get your titties done this is your sign go get that shit if y'all want y'all boobs done go get that shit another video so in today's video i'm basically gonna be giving y'all a update about my surgery so this is gonna be my one month update um i guess you could call it a q a video um so i got a couple questions from my last video from when i posted um about my surgery so I have the questions written down in my notes. Um, it's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. It's not a lot of questions. It's about ten questions written down in my notes. So yeah, this is just gonna be a little Q and A video. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get right into it. I'm just going to be talking about my whole entire process of even getting surgery. So if y'all haven't already watched my surgery vlog, I'm going to post it like somewhere on this video. So y'all could go check that out. So if y'all haven't already watched that, go watch my vlog first and then you can come back to this video and yeah and if you made it this far into the video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe because y'all i'm trying to go up i'm trying to go big on big on big this year and i'm really trying to be on like my youtube shit for the rest of the year for the remaining of the year in the upcoming new year so if y'all haven't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel and let's get into it life i've been wanting my boobs done like i've always wanted my boobs done um growing up in elementary school middle school i had no boobs um basically my entire life i've been i think um an a i think i've been an a cup my entire life so growing up um always one of my boobs done but like, boobs and don't get it confused because i was never like insecure about nothing like i was never insecure about my body type and none of that um i just wanted something to like really enhance my body like it just enhances my looks so that's basically like the reasoning why I even wanted to get my boobs done because I don't know like certain tops that I wanted to wear it just would look weird like it would just look weird with a flat chest but now that I have some boobs like I feel like it makes my appearance look 10 times better but don't get it confused. Because I already looked good before without the boobs. So I was already bagging niggas before the boobs. But now that I got the boobs, I don't know. They just, you know, <laughs> they just look really, 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 really good. But yeah, that's my reason why, or that's my reasoning why as to why I even wanted to get surgery. I just, that's just something that I've always wanted, so... Yeah, I went and got it. So, um, how I even went about getting, about doing the surgery. Um, so, I went on, um, either I went on the website or, actually, I think that I was following um, my surgical place IG page. I think I was following their IG page on Instagram. So, I just went on Instagram, clicked on their bio, um, which had, like, the website on it. 
and I think I filled out a form so I filled out a form and then basically it was just like a questionnaire like it was asking me my first and last name date of birth um, age if I've had any medical procedures before any surgical procedures before um what else did it ask I think it asked me um if I had like any allergies or any like you know it was just a questionnaire asking me about my body type so I filled out the little questionnaire and then it required me to take pictures with no bra on from the front and from the left and right side so I had to send those in um filled out the form and then I believe I did this in December so I filled out the form in December and then I think they I believe that they assigned me to a surgical coordinator and she basically um emailed me back told me that she got my forms and that everything looks good and then she gave me a set price she sent me a set price and then with that set price um i can either you know pay everything all in full or i can finance it but yeah um after she sent the price um she told me to give her a call so that she can go over like everything so at the time that I filled out my form, I was overseas. I had to wait <laughs> to come back home to give her a call, which was sometime in January, I believe. I think like the beginning of January. But anyways, um, I ended up calling her number, her direct line number. Um, and we spoke on the phone about the surgery and then she was telling me like about the different implants that I can get and then she asked me if I had a specific doctor in mind and I told her which doctor I wanted to go to and she was like that's perfect like you like he'll be able to give you exactly what you want and I was like okay that's cool so my original surgery date was supposed to be for May May sometime in May I don't remember the exact date but it was supposed to be for sometime in May and I believe that I put my deposit down in January and the deposit was a thousand dollars so I put down a thousand sometime in January um and then yeah from there um she sent me back over my forms and basically it was like a whole pre-op um, instruction forms and it basically just told me like um, what medications to avoid, what type of vitamins I should be taking. So I had to take multivitamins, I had to take vitamin C, and then I had to take something else, I remember, in order to prep for my surgery. So um, fast forward, I ended up having to change my surgical date from May to August. Once um, July came around, I have went to Atlanta. I went to Atlanta, I think June 30th to July 4th. My job, my surgery was for August 3rd. So once the fourth came, like my last time drinking and smoking was July 3rd. Like I gave myself a whole complete month to just be sober, y'all. <laughs> like no drinking, no smoking hookah, no partying, no going out. Like I really just took that whole month of July to really just relax and hydrate and really just prep myself for surgery and then in the midst of all of that y'all like sometime in july right after i came back from atlanta i ended up catching a fever like 101 102 degrees like i ended up catching a fever 
for like two three days i believe so i had to so i had to sit that out and wait for my fever to come down and then i got sick in the midst of it like i was basically just like i can't be going through all of this and i'm about to be getting surgery like bitch i need to get right and be right for surgery so the whole month of july i just sat everything out and yeah i didn't do anything stop smoking hookah because you have to stop smoking in order to get surgery because smoking is gonna decrease your healing process so stop smoking hookah um stop drinking and i was drinking a lot of water y'all like i was making sure that i was hydrated as fuck for my surgery so yeah once um july came and went um i had my doctor's appointment and basically my doctor she just did the um ekg she did an ekg on me um and then she drew some blood and then i think that was it i think that's all that happened in my doctor's appointment and then to my doctor's like a week before my surgery and then my test results came back like the next day or two days later and everything was good i was cleared your girl was ready to go it was no like complications or nothing like my doctor cleared me for surgery so from there it was basically like go time and i was just counting down the days and i was so freaking excited y'all like i was so freaking excited so yeah y'all um had my doctor's appointment and then from there a week goes by and now i'm at pre-op so let's just talk about pre-op real quick pre-op is um basically the day before your surgery you go in into the center and then um basically they just do like a whole bunch of paperwork um they see if you owe any money or whatever the case may be and then at pre-op you could go buy your bra you could buy your fajas you could buy your compression socks you can buy um the little breastband like you could buy everything at pre-op if you don't already have it but because i'm smart and i didn't want to give these people no extra money um I purchased everything off Amazon like a week or two before my surgery. So I got all my bras um, off Amazon. I bought a wristband off Amazon. I got my compression socks. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got me some Arnica pills. Um, and that helped me during my recovery and and then I, I got like some other things for my scars to pre-op the day before my um scheduled surgery day appointment was for like 9 a.m or maybe 8 a.m i think 9 um so i drove myself because i live in miami so everything was convenient for me so i drove myself to the appointment because nobody else can come in with me it was just only me so yeah um i drove myself to my pre-op appointment and then um basically uh, it was just a waiting game like they had told once you get the medical clearance from your doctor and they fax it in to your surgical doctor, they send you back like a pre-op instruction, a pre-op appointment instruction or whatever. And so in the email, it says that pre-op can be up to four to six hours, I believe it says. So y'all, I literally got to pre-op and 
it was like not a mess but it was definitely a waiting game and honestly i feel like if you got all your shit like they they told us that we had to print out everything like we had to print out um uh the results to like our ekg all the blood work um and just basically like all our paperwork basically that's just what pre-op is pre-op is just for paperwork so i came in um she gave me the little uh clipboard to sign like my name and stuff and i just had to fill out a whole bunch of paperwork i filled that out gave it back to her so now i'm just sitting there and i'm waiting and i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting i'm waiting oh and then my surgery sister so i'm in the um the facebook group for my surgical center because they have a facebook group and so i met a girl on my facebook group and we had the same surgery date so me and her have been like talking on messenger like the month prior for like a month straight like the entire july <laughs> me and this girl was talking about like everything like our surgery and like us just getting stuff and like how we were feeling and whatnot so you know me and her had the same pre-op appointment so um at the same time too so i came in first filled out my paperwork whatever and then like a few minutes later she came in and so we were sitting next to each other and we were basically just talking about like everything so that was pretty cool um that I met my surgery sister if you're watching this girl I love you but <laughs> yeah so I met my surgery sister um and then basically like both of us we just filled out the paperwork and now we're just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting so I think by that time it was probably like maybe 10 30 so then they call me back so then i go back to the room to like one of their offices or whatever um and the lady so then she calls my name um yeah so she calls my name to come in the back so i go to the back and then um basically she just asked me for my card information um just to make sure like you know my surgery is paid was paid for in full um, because y'all, they do not play that shit. When it comes to their money payments, like, they do not play that shit. They want their money in full, paid for, in advance. Like, I had to pay for my surgery, um, I think, like, two months in advance. They want all their money, like, two months in advance. So, yeah, y'all, they, um, she called me back there took down my card information um basically just printed out like all my um receipts and stuff for my surgery and then i went back to like the main room <laughs> the main waiting area and i was sitting there and i was waiting again and again and again and again and again and again and, again. and then they called my name again um back to like another room um and then i get there uh she asked me do i need to purchase anything like do i need to purchase like any bras or any scarring gel or whatever but i had already purchased everything off amazon so i didn't really need anything and yeah so then she tells me to sit down so now i'm sitting in a chair um and i'm waiting again <laughs> And then they called my name back to like another, the other room. And then I basically do my COVID test. I had to pay $100 in cash for a COVID test and then like the drug test. So they do the COVID test at pre-op the day before your surgery. And then the day of surgery um before like you meet with your doctors and stuff before you meet with your doctor um you gotta like go pee in a cup and then they like test to see if you've been smoking or you know just taking any drugs and stuff like that 
so um obviously i wasn't doing any of that <laughs> so i was good um for surgery day but back to print she takes me she does my covid test and then i go back and i sit down again and y'all it was so freaking cold and i'm so upset because i knew that that place was going to be cold and i accidentally forgot my sweater so y'all i was literally like in there shivering like and i was just waiting it just got to the point like i was just waiting for so long that i was down there falling asleep in the chair like it was crazy like i believe i probably left out um maybe by like two o'clock i was there from 9 a.m to about 2 p.m and yeah so um so now i'm sitting um me and my surgery sister were like sitting in the back again together like one of the coordinators called me back to her, her office so then i go to her office um and then basically i'm like just signing more paperwork and then she emails me um post-op post-op instructions um, that I need to be following like during my healing surgery and then she gave me a list um, like a slip of paper a list of things that I need to do like the night so that day the day of pre-op the things that I need to be doing um, the night of pre-op like before my surgery so I had to fast y'all for 12 freaking hours um, and yeah so I had to fast I couldn't eat nothing past a certain time I couldn't drink nothing um I had to wash up with antibacterial soap um couldn't chew no gum couldn't drink no water I, I had to completely be completely fasting for 12 freaking hours so yeah um so I was back there with her she basically just went over like everything that's gonna happen and then she took some more pictures so i had to take off my shirt and my bra took some pictures and then basically that was it and then she told me that i should be receiving like a phone call later on in the day um for my surgery time um my surgery basically ended up being for 10 a.m um and that's basically how my pre-op went um it's basically just a whole bunch of waiting and just a whole bunch of paperwork so if you're like missing um your ekg you can take your ekg there um if you're missing like any blood or lab work you can do your lab works over there but y'all they was charging way too much like they were charging i believe 440 dollars if you didn't have like if you need to do everything if you need to do your ekg if you need to get your medical clearance if you need to do your lab work and blood work everything added up to 440 dollars and then you had to bring cash and then you had to pay a hundred dollars for um the covid test and the drug test but that is mandatory like the covid test and the drug test were mandatory so everybody had to pay a hundred dollars but if you could get like all your lab work and all your blood work done by your primary care doctor i would definitely suggest that because when i seen that price i was like oh hell no like i'm not giving these people no more freaking money like four hundred dollars is absolutely ridiculous and then he wanted you to pay cash and i was like y'all are not slick like no like i couldn't mm -mm. i wasn't giving them no more of my hard-earned goddamn money so that's just a heads up if y'all want to go there um you're gonna require you to pay cash and i just mm -mm, i wasn't going for it like i wasn't trying to give them no more of my money yeah y'all so then i leave pre-op um and then i'm basically just like preparing they called me 
and my surgery was for 10 a.m. Next morning was my um, surgery date. So they required me to get there like 30 minutes earlier. Honestly, like an hour because they were blowing up my phone. Like my surgery was scheduled for 10 a.m. and the lady was calling my phone at like 8:50, asking me like, um, how far are you? Um, just want to make sure that you're on your way because you know your surgery time is at 10 and we need you to be here 30 minutes earlier and blah 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 blah. blah. So. Yeah, I got there. I mean, I was there by like 9 a.m. anyways because we were trying to beat the traffic going there. So I got there. I got to my center maybe like around 9. So then um, we walk in. Um, and then they're basically like my mom walked in with me. And then they gave her like a list. Um, of prescriptions for her to go so it was like a specific pharmacy that they have that my prescriptions that they have for me was at so while I was in surgery she went and got my prescriptions for me and then basically y'all um so then I walked back to um like the changing area or whatever so then I put on my um I put on the gown, I put on the hat, like the little surgical hat, or whatever. <laughs> um, I put on the shoes. Oh, I have my compression socks. So for a surgery day, you have to bring in your compression socks and your surgical bra or else you will not be getting surgery. Like they do not play that shit. Like you had to bring in your shit. I brought my bra, um, I put on my compression socks and then basically went and go changed um and then i had to go pee in a cup so that they could do the um, drug test or whatever so did that um came back sitting down on like the little bench or whatever or little bed <laughs> um, it was a nurse y'all it was two different women for sure so i think the first one was a nurse um she came in and then she put the freaking IV in me, y'all. It was like a cooling sensation. Like, <laughs> I've never, like, you know, had that before. So she put the IV in me. Um, and then, yeah, she was basically just telling me to wait. So then I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and waited, and waited, and waited. And waited waited it was literally just like a waiting game so i waited and then um my doctor eventually came in and i was so excited to meet him y'all so my doctor came in and then we were talking about like sizing and he asked me if i had any bush pictures and i showed him a picture of stunner girl y'all so i'm gonna literally i'm gonna show y'all what picture i showed my doctor showed him this picture and I was like I want my titties like this like I want my titties this big I want them to sit up I want them to be pretty I said I don't want uh you know the big gap between my titties I don't want that I want like the fake look like I told him I wanted the fake look um definitely want to cleavage definitely want them to sit um, I want them to look fake, but not too fake. Like, not like porn star-ish fake. But fake as in like, if a girl see me, she gotta wonder like, babe, did you get your boobs done? Or are they yours? Like, that's the type of effect that I wanted. Like, I told him, you know, exactly what I wanted. He was like, okay. He was like, I can definitely do that. I can make you look exactly how you want. And I was like, perfect. Like, that's exactly what I want to hear. Make me look like a motherfucking Barbie doll. So, y'all, I basically just put my trust in him. And then, yeah, that was it. So then um, the anesthesiologist came in. Um, and I just walked with her to the... Um, to the surgery room y'all 
and literally um i walked in and like you know there's different like sections of like people getting their surgery and that's when i was like really starting to get like freaking anxious because y'all it was like a girl to the side getting surgery right but whatever like obviously she was put to sleep but like i could see like a little like they had like curtains and stuff so like they could hide like the person's face or whatever but um they had like the curtain like opened a little bit and i made eye contact with like one of the nurses or whatever and she like immediately shut the curtains and i was like yeah bitch i don't want to see that <laughs> i was like i don't want to see that like i don't want to even want to scare myself like but yeah they had like a whole bunch of different sections of like you know girls getting whatever whatever done because they do everything at the center they do light bulb section they do bbls they do titties they do breast lifts like they do everything at that center so when i seen her like i made eye contact with her and she seen me and she seen that i seen her she shut that motherfucking curtain so motherfucking quick and i was like good like do exactly that because i don't even want to see like nothing that's going on so yeah y'all i walked into the surgery room and i was like anxious and then i just laid down they told me to lay down y'all the whole fucking center was so fucking cold like the it was so freaking cold and then not to mention like i already had like the iv in me so i already have like a cool sensation just like flowing throughout my body so then I lay down, y'all, and there's two anesthesiologists in there. It was the lady that took me to the surgery room, and then it was a, guy, a male there. So then I lay down, um, and then, like, she had, like, my arms, like, laid out like this, and then my legs was laid out, and then they literally, like, strapped me up. Like, they strapped down. Like, the guy, he strapped down my freaking feet and then the lady she strapped on my arm so i was really like like couldn't move like was strapped up couldn't move and i'm just there like, <laughs> like i'm literally just there like she just take the wheel like i'm just laying there like what the fuck like am i really about to get surgery right now <laughs> but yeah um the guy, he put, like, a blanket over me. He put the blanket, like, right here, like, all over my entire body. And then, um, the geologist, right, she's talking to me. And she was like, okay, so, um, the anesthesia is gonna go through your face. Just calm down. Um, she was like, just breathe in and out. So she was like, breathe in. And I was like... She was like, good, just like that. Breathe in, breathe out again. And I was like, <sighs> she was like, okay, one more time. Breathe in, breathe out. I breathe in, breathe in, breathe out, y'all. Once I did, bitch, I knocked the fuck out. Like, I was out like a light. And then from there, y'all, I woke up in the recovery room. And I had me a brand new pair of titties on my chest. And yeah, y'all. Um, I woke up, woke up with a brand new fresh pair of titties. Um, y'all, when I woke up in the recovery room, it was so fucking cold. Like, I was fucking shivering, like... Bitch, you would have thought I was having, like, a fucking seizure or something. I was so freaking cold. I was shivering out my freaking boots. Like, I'm assuming because, you know, hospitals and centers and stuff is just so freaking cold. And then, like, you got the IV going through you. So, that just adds on to it. But, y'all, I was so freaking cold. Like, I was shivering, shaking, like terribly like shaking like shit like i couldn't believe like i literally couldn't even control it like it was so uncontrollable the way that i was shaking 
I was so freaking cold. Um, but yeah, I basically heard them. Um, they were like, um, your mom is outside. Um, so let's get you ready. So then I had my, um, well, um, yeah, I already had my compression socks on, I believe. Um, so then they just helped me get up. I got up off the bed. They put on my shoes. I came in with Crocs, y'all. They put on my Crocs and then they sat me down on the wheelchair and then they basically wheeled me out and then my mom was outside and they helped me get in the car and that was basically it y'all like that was it um from that moment um i didn't really feel anything like i feel like it was just it was just different like obviously they're implants right so they're gonna be stretching out your skin and it's gonna take you like a while to get used to them but it wasn't nothing like nothing like unbearable like nothing that i couldn't handle it was just like whenever i breathe whenever i did like whenever i breathe like it did hurt a little like it just felt i don't know i guess you could say pressure like it just felt heavy not even pressure for real for real it just felt like heavy like it just felt heavy heavy like my chest just felt heavy oh you go through like a heartbreak and your chest even like you caving in bitch like it just felt heavy like my chest just felt heavy but not really like pressure per se not for me at least but yeah my chest just felt like you know heavy but that was basically it y'all if this was a surgery that i wanted to do again like i feel like i could definitely go back and do it again because the recovery process for getting your boobs done is like nothing y'all like it's rank it didn't hurt like it didn't hurt that bad um and so yeah so i got home um i took my prescription so they basically just give you like i think um they give you antibiotics to take they give you pain prescriptions they gave me like a muscle relaxer and something else oh something for like nausea just in case i had nausea but i didn't have none of that y'all literally i only took like two percocets um and that was just to like alleviate like the pain that i had in my chest um more so like discomfort that i had in my chest uh, i took two of those like the first day and i think i took a muscle relaxer like maybe like one or two muscle relaxers um and i just took my antibiotics and that was it like i really didn't even have to use like any of the prescription that they gave me for real for real i basically just finished all my antibiotics that i had to finish within the week um and that was it like i still have the freaking like all the other prescriptions in my room right now today because i didn't have to use it because i didn't experience like that much pain and that's a good thing because all the videos that i was watching beforehand like before i even got my surgery a lot of people were saying like they didn't have to take their prescriptions or it wasn't really like a bad surgery and y'all like they really weren't lying like this is the easiest freaking surgery that anybody can get like the easiest surgery ever but um my surgery he cut me open underneath the muscle so he basically like you know just did a little cut right here and then inserted the implant upwards like that um and then i told him i wanted like 400 to 450 cc's but honestly y'all now that i'm like 
a month in i definitely could have went bigger like i definitely feel like i could have went bigger like i could have went like five five forty five fifty if i wanted to at home um i basically just relaxed um and yeah i took my pain medication i got me something to eat and i was just chilling like i was literally just chilling relaxing um i wish i would have bought me like a bbl pillow or whatever you call it like a lower back pillow for um my back because i had to sleep on my back for like the first week for the first two weeks you gotta sleep in your back because it's gonna be like very uncomfortable to sleep in any other position and then they want you to like sleep laying on your back so that your breasts stay in like you know the proper position now let's get into post-op so post-op is um <clears throat> basically just the appointment um the day after your surgery so they can see like you know how everything's looking um they can check your scarring and then like they tell you um what to do like how to take care of your scar and um basically like just informing you about your um <clears throat> about your recovery process oh and then they give you like a medical card to let you know um the size that he decided to put in you um so yeah they gave me like a little medical card and they put my size on there after that y'all like after my post-op appointment i went back home and that was basically it like that was basically it um everything was all good and yeah i was just chilling i think like the first three days because i had surgery on a thursday so thursday friday saturday the first three days like my entire body was aching like it felt like like you know how you do like a good ass workout and you forgot to stretch beforehand and then like your body is paying for it in the morning once you wake up like your whole body is just sore that's literally how i felt like my whole body <clears throat> was sore definitely felt like i got hit by a truck the next day like the next two three days my entire body was aching like my back my shoulders my chest was heavy my legs was aching i think my ankles got like a little swollen and once sunday came y'all like once that third day came sunday came all my aches and pains were gone like everything just disappeared like everything just disappeared and i felt back to my normal self like back to my normal usual self i felt completely fine and yeah y'all so that was basically like my process my whole entire process <laughs> of everything um i guess now we can get into the questions um i don't have a lot of questions i have like a good 10 questions um that i got so I'm just gonna answer them for y'all so I can look so y'all can know the deep so the first question is where did you go to get your boobs done so I went to CG cosmetics to get my boobs done in Miami um the whole experience with CG cosmetics it was a good experience like all the staff were nice um my doctor was really nice he was cool once i spoke to him um everybody was nice yeah it was it was a good experience that i had so 
if y'all want to go get y'all boobs done, go to CG Cosmetics. Um, the next question that I got is how much did you pay? There earlier, uh, you had to put down a thousand dollar deposit. And the thousand dollars basically just covers, I think, the surgery, the surgery room, and the uh, anesthesia. So that was a thousand. Set that non refundable. Um, yeah, so I, I put down a thousand dollars. My total was forty five hundred that I paid. I do suggest, um, if y'all don't have you know the money to pay for surgery um maybe you should just you know wait it out babes and stack up your coins and save you some money first before you just go ahead and book your surgery i feel like that would be like the smart thing to do but um yeah i paid 4500 for my surgery Next question is what is recovery like and how is your healing so y'all it's been a month since I got the girls done and honestly um recovery was cool like I mean I'm still recovering um I'm still healing but the first week I literally was just laying down like the entire time um, I took a month off. <laughs> I took a month off from work um, just so I can, you know, recover and heal. Um, so this past month has been like, you know, pretty smooth with everything. Like I've literally just been laying down, relaxing, um, not doing too much. Like they tell you not to like, like no matter how good you feel, not to like, you know bend over um or like rearrange like your room or whatever um so i mean i just took the time out to really just relax um i couldn't like i definitely couldn't um raise my arms up like all right here y'all was so freaking sore like i can raise them up now but before i think this is like the farthest that i can go um but yeah like recovery was pretty good healing um i'm still healing uh my boobs are still dropping first first got them done like when i first got them done bitch they were like right here like sitting in my chest but they dropped um and they're gonna keep dropping um, I should know, like, they say once you reach, like, six months, that that's, like, your perfect, like, like, you're done, you're kind of done healing once you reach six months. Um, but, yeah, my recovery process is pretty smooth. Um, still healing, but everything is looking good. The girls look good, and... Yeah, question that I got. Um, a lot of people were asking me what made you want to get it. Um, but I basically told y'all like earlier. Um, I've always wanted boobs. I've always wanted like you know a little more cleavage to show in my tops and stuff. Um, yeah, I was just a flat-chested girl. Like this is what my boobs looked like before. Like. I will never be able to wear a bra ever again. Like, I'm never wearing a bra ever again. A bitch always wanted some titties. I ain't never had no titties before. And so, I went and go bought me some titties. And um, a lot of people were telling me, um, they were telling me, like, I should wait it out until I have kids. But, y'all, I don't know when i'm gonna have kids um i'm still young like i'm only 24 
I don't have kids. I don't know when I'm going to have kids. Um, I'm not planning on having any kids no time soon. So, like, I don't want to wait until I turn 30. Like, for example, I turn 30 and I have my first kid. And I got to wait till I'm 30 to get my titties done. Like, I just, I didn't want to wait that long. Um... <laughs> Personally, I didn't want to wait that long, and we're never going to be this young and fine again, so you might as well just do you like. So, I did me. That's the reason why I went and got my surgery. Um. So, another question that I got asked a lot was, what did your family and friends think about you getting surgery so um when i told my mom that i was getting surgery she was cool with it like she was like girl go ahead do you like <laughs> if that's what you want go ahead so my mom was cool with it i feel like a lot of people were surprised that my mom was cool with it but like it's nothing really that she could say about it um, but yeah, I told my mom she was cool with it. Um, I didn't tell my dad. <laughs> I didn't tell my dad until, like, surgery day that I was getting surgery. But it's, like, at that point, um, at that point, like, obviously it was a thing that he could do. At that point, it was no, you know, convincing me or anything. Um, but, I mean, I didn't really care. Like, I didn't really care to tell him. Um, yeah, um, I told my sister, like, a few days before I got surgery. Maybe, like, two or three days before I got surgery. Um, she was cool with it. She was like, okay, go ahead. Do you, girl? Um, and then obviously, like, when I was telling my friends, all my friends were, like, excited as fuck for me. Like, everybody was like, I can't wait to see them. Like, you're going to look so grown and different. So, like, you know, all my friends was cool with it. Um, everybody around me was pretty much cool with it. Um, I guess because, like, you know, they knew how flat-chested I was. So, um, you know, it made sense. <laughs> <laughs> for me to want to get surgery um but yeah like for the most part nobody like really said nothing like bad about me getting surgery um my dad was just like that's really what you want to do but it was like at that point it was too late so yeah <laughs> um Next question that I got was, did you lose sensation in your nipples? Yeah. Um, did I lose sensation? No. Um, well, yeah, kind of. Um, my nipples definitely did, like, go numb from, like, the anesthesia, I believe. Um, so, like, this one, like, my left boob, um, definitely went numb, but it's because, like, the, he put the bigger implant in this one, in my left boob, so, that one definitely went numb, um, my right boob, I could still, like, feel, like, sensation, but it eventually came back, like, I think it came back probably, like, a week or two later, um, yeah, uh, y'all, I better not have lost fucking sensation in my nipples, like, I love me a little, you know, nipple plate, <laughs> like, <laughs> I would've been so pissed if I lost sensation in both my nipples and never came back, I would've been so upset, but, um, a lot of girls that do get their boobs done, um, you could get it, you could get the implants in, like, 
three different ways. So I decided to get mines underneath the muscle. So basically he just had to like just plop them in. But it's women that get um the implants like through their nipples. So they basically just like cut around the nipple and then insert the implant in and then like they sew the nipple back on. Um women that do get them get the implant through their nipple loses sensation um and then like you could also like get the nipple done through your armpit which i think that's weird um but i do have a co-worker who got hers through her armpit she has like a little scar like it's not like nothing major but um they suggested to me to get it underneath the muscle and that's how I want to do it anyways so I was like completely fine with that y'all um but to answer the question I did lose sensation in one of my boobs but then it came right back so um over time maybe like over a course of a few weeks um I know it takes a few months for some women to get their sensation back but um mine's went away and came right back so yeah um another question how does it feel to get put to sleep um i think that was like one of my biggest concerns um i feel like if you've never been through surgery before, like, that's everybody's biggest concern, like, getting put to sleep, like, oh my gosh, like, what's happening, like, behind the scenes, and, like, am I gonna wake up, and how am I gonna feel, but honestly, y'all, like, like I told y'all earlier, the anesthesiologist, she literally just told me to breathe in, breathe out three times, and after, after that third time, I was literally out like i was knocked out i was out like a freaking light and when i woke up when i woke up in the um recovery room it literally just felt like i took a nap like it literally felt like how everyone says it feels like like it feels like you took a nap and I woke up i was completely fine um so getting put to sleep i was scared a little bit but um it doesn't hurt like you don't feel anything you literally like they literally talk you to sleep like they literally talk you to sleep and then you're out and then you wake up and yeah that's it um pain level on a scale of one to ten i think i would give the pain like I want to say a four. I want to give like the pain level like a four just because um like the first three days like my entire body was aching and my whole body like was literally sore as fuck like it even hurt to like walk up my steps like that's how sore my body was like I was kind of like limping but after the first three days like i didn't feel nothing like i didn't feel nothing i didn't feel no pain no nothing um i would just say like the only thing that i struggled with was like getting up um from bed it was kind of like i had to like force myself to like get up like i couldn't just just get up like how i can normally get up now i was literally just like like forcing myself to get up so um but that was that only lasted like a week maybe um like managing myself to get up probably lasted like that pain level probably lasted like a week um and after the first week i was like getting up like i was honestly completely fine y'all and then they require you to walk um every hour for at least five minutes to avoid um blood clots forming in your legs and stuff so i was literally just you know up and about walking every hour outside um and 
yeah, like, I was fine. Like, I was able to, like, you know, pick up things. Well, like, anything light. I was able to pick up anything light. Um, um, the only struggle, like, another struggle that I have would probably be, like, showering. Um, getting in the shower, like, I couldn't, like, move my arms. Like, I couldn't, like, you know, do too much arm work. So, that was, like, a little struggle. But then again, like, not really. But, yeah, the overall pain level for everything, probably give it, like, a four. Maybe, like, a three and a half. Three and a half, four-ish. Um, but, yeah, like... The whole process and everything was cake. Everything was pretty simple. Um, someone asked me, what's your bra size? Um, so I don't know what my bra size is. I won't know until I'm like six months. Because they say at six months you should be, you know, kind of completely healed at that point. Or like halfway healed. Um... But yeah, I don't know what my bra size is. Um, but they did give us like a little medical card. Um, they did give us a medical card that told us how many CCs he put in. So let me see. So I got um, silicone implants. And in my left boob, he put 520 cc's. And in my right boob, he put 185 cc's. So as y'all can see, like, my right boob, the smaller implant is kind of dropping, like, gradually more than the left implant. Um, but yeah, I'm... 520 in the left and 45 in the right. Last question that I got, y'all, is um, would you get more surgery in the future? Like BBL, um, light bulb, teeth done. Um, honestly, um, um, I don't think I would I don't think I would get any more surgery like honestly I'm very satisfied with the how my body looks like I was never insecure about like my body type or like my appearance or anything um I really just wanted cleavage like that's really the only thing that I've ever wanted um I have friends that got BBLs and their recovery process was hell um I'm pretty sure liposuction is the same thing it's hell um I know somebody who got you know a tummy tuck and her boobs done at the same time and I'm pretty sure her tummy tuck was hell like I don't know I feel like getting your boobs done like just getting implants or getting like anything done with your boobs like implants or a breast lift or um like a breast reduction anything that has to do with your like chest your boobs I feel like that's like the easiest procedure that you could ever get um so no, I don't think I would get um, anything else done. Um, like my body is like I'm pretty satisfied with like my body and stuff. Um, I don't think I would get um, any more surgery, but maybe you know if I have kids in the near future or so, and like. A year or two or maybe three years um i'll probably wait to see how my body would look like how my body changes after i have a kid to decide like if i want to be or not but as of right now 
um, I don't really see myself, you know, getting any more surgery. So, to answer your question, no, I will not be getting any more surgery. I think I'm just a one and done type of girl. And I'm very much satisfied with my results. So, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, um... That was the end of my surgery Q&A video, my boot job Q&A video. If y'all like this video, please don't forget to like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I will talk to y'all in the next one.